Chinese Braille. Chinese Braille, 线形盲文 literally current Braille, is a Braille system for the Chinese language, especially in the People's Republic of China. It is different from other Braille systems. One Chinese character is generally represented by one to three Braille cells, following its pronunciation in standard Chinese. Every Mandarin syllable is decomposed into three parts: onset or initial, shengmu; rhyme or final, yunmu; and tone, shengdiao. Contents. Section one: symbols. Subsections: onsets, rhymes, tones, and another subsection called symbols. Section two: rules. Section three: ambiguity. Section four: two-cell Chinese Braille. Section five: usage. Section six: see also. Section seven: references. Section eight: external links. Symbols. Onsets. Pinyin B. That's the b sound. Braille dots one and two. Pinyin C. That's usually a t sound. Braille dots one and four. Pinyin D. The d sound. Braille dots one, four, and five. Pinyin F. F. Braille dots. One, two, and four. Pinyin G and Pinyin J. That's the g or the j sound. Braille dots one, two, four, and five. Readers note we're going to find out later how to disambiguate between the two, but these two Pinyin letters do have the same dot patterns, and there are others. Pinyin H and Pinyin X, that's H or S, that is dots one, two, and five. Pinyin R, R, dots two, four, five. Pinyin K or Pinyin Q, that's K or T, that's dots one and three. Pinyin L, the dots one, two, and three. Pinyin M, m, dots one, three, and four. Pinyin N, n, dots one, three, four, and five. Pinyin P, p, one, two, three, four. Pinyin C H, ch. Dots one two three four five. Pinyin S s dots two three four. Pinyin T t dots two three four five. Pinyin Z z dots one three five six. Pinyin S H sh dots one five six. Pinyin Z H t, dots three four. Rhymes. Pinyin Y or Y Y E or I E dots one and five. Pinyin E Y I or I dots two and four. Pinyin or or what. W O or U O dots one three and five. Pinyin E R R dots one two three and five. Pinyin W U or U that's O dots one three and six. Pinyin A N that's An dots one two three and six. Pinyin W E I or U I that is way dots two four five six. 
pinyin y-a-n-g or i-n-a-n-g sorry y-a-n-g or i-a-n-g that's yang dots one three four and six pinyin w-a-i or u-a-i that's y dots one three four five six pinyin y-u-a-n or dotted u-a-n that's yuan uh, dots one two three four and six pinyin w a or u a that's wa dots one two three four five six pinyin o u that's oh i think um no it's o sorry dots one two three five and six pinyin e i that's a dots two three four and six pinyin y u e or dotted u e that's that's yeah dots two three four five six pinyin y i n g or i n g that's ing or ying dots one and six pinyin y i n or i n that's yin dots one two and six pinyin y a n or i a n that's yen dots one four and six pinyin y o n g or i o n g that's yong dots one four five and six pinyin y a or i a that's ya dots one two four and six Pinyin W A N or U A N that's one dots one two four five six Pinyin Y O U or I U that's Yo dots one two five and six Pinyin A I that's I dots two four and six Pinyin W E N or U N that's when or, or or un dots two and five pinyin w e n g or o n g that's wong or ong dots two five and six pinyin o or e that's o or a uh, dots two and six pinyin a o that's ow dots two three five Pinyin W A N G or U A N G that's Wang dots two three five and six Pinyin A N G that's Ang dots two three six Pinyin A that's A uh, dots three five Pinyin E N that's Un dots three five and six Pinyin Y A O or I A O that's Yao dots three four five Pinyin Y U or dotted U that's U or E dots three four and six Pinyin E N G that's Ung dots three four five six and Pinyin Y U N or dotted U N that's Yun dots four five and six Tones First tone, that's ma, high level, dot one. Second tone, that's ma, rising tone, dot two. Third tone, that's ma, falling rising, dot three. Fourth tone, that's ma, the falling tone, dots two and three. Neutral tone, nothing no dots symbols Chinese full stop dots dot five followed by dots two and three comma dot five question mark 
dot five followed by dot six. Exclamation mark. Dots five and six followed by dot five. Colon. Dots two and five. Semicolon. Dots five and six. Hyphen. Dot six followed by dots three and six. Ellipses. Dot five, dot five, dot five. Interpunct. Dot six, dot six. Left parentheses. Dots five and six followed by dot six. Right parentheses. Dot six followed by dots five and six. Slash. Dots five and six, dots five and six. Rules. Spaces are added between words rather than between syllables. Tone is marked only in case of necessity. It is represented immediately after the rhyme. The rhymes of the syllables z, z, s, j, ch, sh, r are not marked. So that's Z I C I S I Z H I C H I S H I and R I and Pinion. Those rhymes are not marked. Example Shu Jen Bu Zao La Literally time not early, followed by the perfective particle la Braille will be dot one, five and six dot two and four and dot two dot one two four five dot one four six dot one dot one two dots one three and six dots two and three space sorry I think there was a space before I'm finding this very difficult to read because I am actually partially sighted. Okay, I'll start again. Dots one, five and six. Dots two and four. Dot two. Dots one, two, four, five. Dot one, four, six. Dot one. Space. Dots one and two. Dots one, three, six. Dots two, three. Space. Dots one, four, no, sorry, one, three, five, six. Dots two, three, five. Dot three, space. Dot one, two, three. Dot two, six. S dot two, three. Dot two. Section ambiguity. The onset pairs G and J, that's G and J, K and Q, K, Ch. H and X, each has the same dot pattern. This, however, leads to no ambiguity because the onsets J, Q, X, J, T, S are only followed by rhymes which begin with I or U, dotted, that's E or E, while the onsets G, K, H, G, K, H are never followed by such rhymes. Note that the syllable spelled in printed pinyin as J, U is actually a combination of J and what would be dotted U. That's D, not Ju. And is represented as such in Braille. Uh, dots 1, 2, 4, 5, followed by dots 3, 4, and 6 for D. And then dots 1, 2, 4, 5, followed by 1, 3, and 6 for Gu. Similarly, most rhyme pairs that have the same dot patterns do not cause ambiguity. There are only three pairs of syllables which are ambiguous. They are more or m, uh or o, uh, l and lo. None of them seems to cause real confusion. Whilst the braille assignment does not cause much ambiguity, the rule of tone omission does. In practice, most tones are omitted, which leads to a lot of confusion. Nevertheless, this practice is barely reproachable because the representation of tone by an extra braille cell is quite uneconomical. 
systematic indication of tones in the current system could lengthen the text by 50%. Section 2-cell Chinese Braille A more delicate system known as 2-cell Chinese Braille, Hanyu Shuangpin Mangwan, was designed in the 1970s. It encodes all the information, that is onset, rhyme and tone, of one syllable in two Braille cells. Thus is at the same time unambiguous and economical. This new system is now used in parallel with the current system. Initial and medial is coded in the first cell. Final and tone is coded in the second cell. Initials in first cell. B, B, dots, one, and four. P, P, dots, two, three, and six. M, M, dots, two, four, six. F, F, dots, two, three, five. D, T, sorry, D, dots, three, and four. T, T, dots, two, three, four. N, N, dots, one, two, three, four. L, L, dots, four, five, six. Oh, sorry, is that four, five? No, no, one, two, three, sorry. R, R, dots, two, and four. No. Three and five, sorry. I've really got to get myself a Braille font that puts... puts some visual means of indicating where the dots are and where they're not, because when there's a single braille character right next to a load of printed characters sometimes you can't really tell the difference between dots two and four and dots three and five because it depends how it's lined up anyway g or j go or j dot one k or q k or q k <laughs> dots one and three h or x dots four and five z h dots one and four C H dots one three four S H dots one two four Z dots one four five C dots one three four five S dots one two four five Y dots I think that's two and four, or it might be one and three. Just check the alignment very carefully. I think it's two and four. W, two and six. Y, two, five and six. And actually, I'm going to just check the Unicode values of that, that dot glyph. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Y, 2 and 5. W, 2 and 6. Y, U, 2, 5 and 6. Not, not a 2 and 4, sorry. The zero initial consonant is represented by dots 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Medials. I, that's E, is dot 5. U, that's U is dot six and u with dots that's u is dots five and six initials that use dots five and six themselves cannot have medials i is used to distinguish between gkh g -k -h, and jqx d -t -t. if i dot five is present then it's jqx vowels in the second cell a dots two four and five that's a, e or o. That's a, a or o. Dots two and five. A i. That's i. Dots one two four and five. A o. That's a. Dots one two and five. E i. That's a. Dots three and four. O u. That's a. Dots one and three. A n. That's an dots one two four a n g that's ung dots one four and five 
en that's un dot one eng that's un dots one and four no vowel dots one and two dots just check what that is um dots two and five is o oh, that's o o oh, after b p m or f b p m f otherwise e that's a uh. no vowel uh, question mark or no dots this is a, a translation uncertainty from the chinese original no vowel or no dots is u that u after b p m f b p m f tones tone one ma add dot three to the second cell unless the second cell already contains dot three that's a or Ow, oh, sorry. Um, in which case, add dot five. Tone two, ma, add dot six to the second cell. Tone three, ma, add dots three and six to the second cell, unless the second cell already contains dot three, that's the A and the O again, in which case, add dots five and six. Tone four, ma, and neutral tone, no change to the second cell. Note that there is ambiguity between tone 4 and neutral tone. This should not cause trouble in practice. Special representations. R or R. Dots 2 and 5 followed by dot... No, sorry, sorry. Dots 3 and 5 followed by dots 2, 4 and 5. R. Dots 3 and 5 followed by dots... Two, three, four, five, six. Dots three and five as a suffix means the ahua, the r colouring. Dots three and five followed by dots three and six is used as an ahua in mid word. Readers note the ahua is is. Uh, mostly in the Beijing dialect, although it is used once or twice in standard Mandarin. It's uh, nothing to worry about, really, if you don't know what it is. Um, I've heard many Chinese say that you can do without it. Shi, sure, on its own, S-H-I, that is the um, the word is, to be, is dots one, two, and four. As a suffix, it is dots three and five, and elsewhere, it's dots one, two, four, followed by dots one and two. The sound that occurs in the first half of EI and the second half of YE, that's the E sound, is represented by dot five, followed by dots three, no, sorry, dots two and four. YO, the Y sound, is dot four, followed by dots two and four. The exclamation O oh, is dot six followed by dots two and four. Resolving common homophones ta the word ta can be he, she or it and uh, readers note the um, Chinese characters are different but it sounds the same. If the character is the character for he, then we write dots two, three, and four, followed by dots two, three, four, five. If the character is the character for she, we write dot four, dots two, three, four, dots two, three, five, six. If the character is the character for it, then we write dot five, dots two three four dots two three five six I proceed she with dot four and it with dot five I'm not entirely sure that's correct um I'll fix that later um okay um yeah, the, the dot patterns the dot patterns are correct, but proceed she with dot four and it with dot five is is not a correct comment because the dot patterns themselves are 
are different. It's not just the prefix. Zai. This word zai can mean at or again. If it's the character for at, then we have dot one, dot four, and dot five, followed by dots one, two, four, and five. If it's the character for again, then we have dot four, dots one, four, and five, and dots one, two, four, and five. I.e. proceed again with dot four. Sure, is the meaning is by itself and as an ending is dots one, two, and four. But if it's sure, that is thing, dots one, two, and four, followed by dots one and two. Now, readers note, um, in the Beijing dialect, the when it means thing, it's actually spoken with a slightly heavier accent. I'm not actually a native Chinese, so I'm not doing it 100% properly, but I'm trying to bring it out a little bit. But in some, in some uh, regions of China, then these two characters really are identical. Duh. For the grammatical particle, uh, for example, what I eat, sir, my chair, that duh, right, dots three and four, with spaces before and after. For the adverbial particle, for example, hung quite a lie, he came quickly, that duh, comes after a verb, right, dots three and four, followed by dots two and five, with spaces before and after. And for the um, the other duh particle, uh, which is often used to do with getting and um, seeing a yokanda gen, that duh, we write dots three and four, followed by dots two and five, with no space before, but with a space after. Other combinations. For syllables ending in, use medial i and the ending an. That's en. For ing, the ing ending, use i and the eng ung ending. For un, that's ending un, use u and then the en ending. And then if you use u and the eng ending, it gives an ong ending, ong. For an N ending, use EN, UN. ONG might, can be dot six followed by dots one and dot five. EONG, IONG, that can be dot five and six followed by dot one and dot four. Digits, use the standard braille number sign, that is dots three, four, five and six, followed by for digit one, dot one. For digit two, dots one and two. For digit three, dot three and four. For digit four, dot one, four and five. For digit five, dot one and five. For digit six, dot one, two and four. For digit seven, one, two, four and five. For digit eight, one, two, five. For digit nine, two, four. And for digit zero, two, four and five. I'm sure I've seen that before somewhere. Punctuation marks. Comma, dot five. Stop, dot five, dot two and three. Question mark, dot five, dot three. Dun hao. Readers note that dun hao is a special kind of comma used to set off items in a list in Chinese. It's only used between list items. It's not used as a normal comma. Dot four. Quotes, dots four and five. Colon, dots three and six. Semicolon, dots five and six. Apostrophe, dot five, dot five, dot five. Title quotes. Readers note, title quotes are quote, special kind of quote marks that are put around titles of books and things in Chinese. If you're quoting the title of a book, you're supposed to put title quotes around it. Dot six dot three 
and dot six exclamation mark dots five and six dot two the reference at the bottom of the page adds some Chinese rhymes to help remember the above usage the China Library for the Blind that is Zhongguo uh, Mang Ren sorry Zhongguo Mang Wen Tu Shu Guan readers note it's not literally translated blind people, it's literally translated China Braille Library. The China Library for the Blind, Zhongguo Meng Wen Tu Shu Guan in Beijing, has several thousand volumes, mostly tr mostly published by the China Braille Press. That's Zhongguo Meng Wen Chu Ban She. Let's check that. Yeah, that's correct. The National Taiwan Library has a Braille room with a postal mail service and some electronic documents. See also Cantonese Braille. References www.braille.ch slash pschin hyphen e dot htm but note the dots are missing from some of the use on that page. J. Grotz, G R O T Z, The Necessary Reform of Chinese Braille Writing. Rehabilitation Stuttgart, 1991, August 30th, 3, pages 153-5. to 5. Abstract available at www.ncbi.nlm.nah.gov slash entrez slash query dot fcgi question mark cmd equals capital R lowercase e t r i e v e ambassand db equals uh, capital P, lowercase ub, capital M, lowercase ed, ampersand, list, underscore, uids, equals 1947424, ampersand, dopt, equals abstract with a capital A. I just find it on the, on the um, text page and click on it if I were you. To sell Chinese Braille article in Chinese, www.bx166.com slash article slash sort 01235 slash sort 012, sorry, 01235, not 0, slash sort 01238 slash sort 0400 slash 43237.html. www.languagehat.com slash archives slash 003051.php. B E N E T E C H dot blogspot dot com slash two thousand and eight slash ten slash China hyphen braille hyphen press dot html Southern Librarianship dot ICAAP dot org slash content slash V one zero N zero one slash C H E N underscore C zero one dot html External links Omniglot Braille for Chinese www.omniglot.com slash writing slash braille underline Chinese dot htm And there's lots of links to other um, versions of braille of other countries as well. Categories Braille and Chinese language. End of recording.